Hi everyone. How's it going? Hey boy. This is my dress. Say? This is my pretty dress. It's open. Uh -huh. How am I going to do this? I don't want to hit the computer screen. Maybe I'll do it like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is my dress. It's open and I've got the panties underneath. Don't tell anyone. It's secret. Shit. I got the phone. That's not nice. I feel very sexy in the dress. I show you I took my pants off. See, I took them off. And now I'm wearing the dress. This is mummy's dress. Don't tell mummy I put her dress on. It's our little secret. Open. Shh, 
don't tell anyone. I said, don't tell him. Give me a second. Him. I keep any. <sighs> Fuck, it's getting hot in here. Give me one second. Give me a sec. Come on. There we go. Put it like this. Put this one like that. Like this, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Play with me. I'm a playboy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so itchy because it's so sweaty in here. Been a bad boy for daddy. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, little boy. This is that is whip. Gonna spank you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That is gonna spank you. Tell anyone a little secret. <laughs> this is another one. Let me show you. This is another dress. That looks nice on me. Let me show you the comments. Punch is like it's still there. Shush, don't talk. Now you shut up. You're an idiot, that's why. Not a joking. Oh, 
opening. Yeah, I've been a bad boy. Choo choo, chugga chugga, big red car. Oh yeah. Shh. <laughs> me, I'm so sexy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Anyone, it's our secret. <sighs> so horny. <laughs> what should I do? Mm. This is Daddy's naughty little blindfold. Yeah, you wanna be kinky? This is Daddy's blindfold. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take it off now. Hang on. And put it up like that so you don't see. A little bit more like that. I'm just gonna take this off now. Daddy's gonna take him off. Hang on, don't look at my underwear. <gasps> Daddy's taking that off. He took off the dress. Daddy just took off the dress. Now Daddy's in his underwear. I can't show you that. This is going to be Daddy's new dress. Let me unbuckle the dress from the back. Daddy's going to put this dress on now. How the fuck do I put it on? Oh, like this. I know how daddy does it. That's it. Daddy has to tie it on the back. Let me get the tie. I've got to put it in a knot. Hang on. Where's, where's the little knot? There it is. Yeah, tie it like that. Then do one more knot, like that, and I tuck that in the dress, the knot, and I think we've done it, yep, yeah. okay, I think that is good, that's better. Don't 
telling you what, it's our fake way. Let me read the comments. What's this guy's name? I don't know. I love wearing this dress, it makes me look pretty. See? Made me look very nice. Shut up. Shut up you, you fucking idiot. Let me get the chair. Hang on a second. Let me just get the chair. And I need to put that down a little bit. Damn, like that. That's better. I'll put the chair here. Spray my knee, dude. Not good. I'm gonna fucking kill you little puppy. I don't like dogs, so I'm gonna kill you. Talk. Do they keep back this for me? Fucking hell, man. I'm <laughs> so fucking high. Shh. Don't talk. And you 
Süßchen. Den den Eich. Und die beiden. Alrighty. Thank you binoculars for looking in the eyes. That I like you now. That's my mom's dress. Yeah, that's my mom's dress. This is my mom's dress. Party time! Woo! Say so, Mother we go. Look at my little dickie. I'm in Mommy's dress. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Pretty dresses everywhere. This is this is mommy's dress. It feels so good. Shut up! You fucking idiot, you asshole. You know you fucking asshole, shut up. No one likes you, little pimp. I'm gonna fuck your little bum up in a minute, you little faggot. This doggy. He's a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot, mate. Get lost. <laughs> this is my bunny wabbit, Basil. This is my bunny wabbit. This is my bunny wabbit, Basil. Say hello everyone. That's you, you're a fucking idiot to get lost. I have to take this off before mommy comes home. <sighs> See, I've got underwear on. Mm. 
Now I've got to take the dress off. Give me a second. Just give me one second. I'm going to take it off now. See, I'm pulling it down. Give me one second. Okay, I'm taking it off now. Now I'm going to be in my underwear, but I've got to put something else on. Maybe I'll put my shorts back on so mummy doesn't find out I took her dress. Let me pull them down. Now I'm in my underwear. See? Shh, don't tell anyone. It's our little secret. I'm going to have to put my shorts back on. So mummy doesn't find out I took a dress. Where did I put my shorts? Mm, I put them somewhere. Oh, there they are. Let me put them back on. Like a good boy. There we go. That's good boy. Now I'm going to put mummy's dress away. You guys can come to my mummy's room. Okay. I need to take the dress. And I need to put it in mummy's room. Let's go. Fuck. Fuck. Can't even open the door from that vacuum thing. Now we're going to go in my mum's room. Alright, this is my mum's room, it's a fucking mess. She's got an ashtray. It's a fucking mess. My mum's cupboard, where I took all her dresses from. Um... Okay. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna have to fix her dress first because I tied it up. You see? My mum's gonna know that I took her dress if I tied it up. So let me just untie it. Make sure that's all good. Put it back over there in the cupboard. Fix the other dress where I tied it up. Let's have a look. Give me a second. There we go. Put that away. And we're all done. Now we can get out of here. Mark, I never put mummy's dress on. I like being a sexy little girl. It makes me feel nice. Now I put my shorts on. So now I'm a boy. Maybe later I'll put it on again. I don't know. See, she was eating the chips. She always eating the fucking chips. And she got the fucking ashtray. Hang on, let me open this shit. Don't want to make a mess. Fuck, that stinks. Ugh. <coughs> Dude, I'm going to get cancer. I better get out of this room. That is horrible. Do not smoke and do not do drugs. They're bad for you. My mum's a smoker. Holy, she could die, dude. I told her, you're going to die if you don't stop smoking. But she doesn't listen. Ah, oh, that's all I need, dude, to lose my mum, eh? God forbid, though. Hmm. I got some custard. I could have some custard. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe later. Because I've got the mask on. I can't eat with the mask. And I can't take it off. Hmm. Let me have a look. Do I have anything? Hmm. Anything where I don't have to remove my mask but I can still eat it. Like a lolly or something that I can just slide under my mask. Uh, I don't think I do. I think I ran out of them. Might have to get some. 
Wait, I do, but they're off, I think. Yeah. Oh, well. Just have that custard later. Hmm. Fuck. So fucking itchy from the heat. second. Give me one sec. Um... Wait, which way is the better way? I think that way is better. I think my phone just squirted water. Fuck, dude, I'm gonna ruin my phone. Electricity and water does not go well. I better be careful before I start a fire. It's mixing, very good. Look, I show you. Imagine if I dropped my phone in the water, that would have sucked. You're probably like, I hope this fucking gay cunt drops his phone and the live stream ends. That's what you were hoping, eh? Nah, bro, I've got a good grip. Don't worry, brother. Shit. Anyway, okay. Mm. Hang on. Give me one check. Um. Oh shit! Ow. stupid things like that. Hang on. Yeah, then I've got to put this in there. There we go. Nice and easy. And then i just got to try this one there. And there we go. And then put that down a little bit. See? Fix it. Hmm. I've got an idea. I don't know if I can fix it. Come on. Nah, that bottle's fucked. Do I have another bottle? Uh, oh, I do. No, but I don't think it's gonna work. Hang on, I'll try. We want it. We filled it halfway. Let me test it. Hang on. Am I gonna put the camera? Hang on. I'll just dry it. Alright. Fuck's sakes. Hang on, give me one sec. Hang on, I've got an idea. Hang on. Hands are still fucking wet. 
Fuck your mom's pussy. Uh, I don't know. Now, what am I doing that for? I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Give me one sec. I think you guys can. Maybe if I tilt it a bit. Can I tilt it? Yeah, that's perfect. Hang on, hang on. Fuck sakes, that's making a lot of noise. No, nah, hang on. I've got this. I got it last time. Last time when I did it, I actually landed it. But it took me a few tries. I'm making a lot of noise for the neighbours. Come on. Wait, can that actually fit? Oh, no wonder. That can't even fit. That can't even fit. I'm a fucking retard. No wonder it's not fucking working. The bottle is too long to fit in between... Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, that's a waste. Let me see if I can find a smaller bottle. You see, this one is... Oh, nah, that won't even fit either. Oh. I need a very, very small bottle. Wait, will this fit? Nah. 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 I need a small bottle. Fuck. Wait, can I put it, can I throw it somewhere else though? Would it fit in here? Oh, it fits! It fits! Okay, we can do it in here guys, it actually fits. The bottle just fits. Alright, let's do it here. It actually fits. Alright, here we go. Ready? Alright. Oh, almost had it. Nah. Come on. I've got to land this. It's almost there. Oh, dude, that was so close. It's literally going to flip like that. I don't know how I'm going to manage to do that. It's just so difficult. I'm going to try for the top one. Hang on, let me get rid of this plastic shit. Ah. Hang on, let me remove this. Give me one sec. Yeah, give me one second. I finally removed it. I'm trying to remove this plastic. I don't know if I can remove it. 
Let me try. gives a shit. Let's just try. Ah, it, it literally just fits. It's going to be very difficult to do. Oh, dude, I have that. It slid off. Oh, oh, no way. No way. No fuck. Guys, I actually got that. I had no. <laughs> Ooh, I, I got. I got that. Oh, I, I, I just got it. I just, look. It's just touching the hinge. Oh my god! I just got that. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> I just got that. Look. Just. Oh my god, I told you I could do it. It just takes a couple of tries. Dude, bottle flip challenge complete. Haha. <laughs> Fuck, dude, what a shot. I've got that on my video. I'm gonna play back the footage. That was lit. Guys, that is. How am I gonna get that down now? <laughs> Fuck, man, that was great. What a fluke right in the corner. Fuck. That is amazing. True talent right there. Fuck, man. Do you think we can do it again? Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, what? No way! I got it the second time! What the fuck is going on? I just got it again. I landed it again. What the fuck? No way! The second time! No fucking way! No way! I li oh my god, do you guys just see what I did? What the f- I just landed it again! What is- Oh my god! Yalla Habibi man, you gotta see this shit brother! I just landed it again the second time! How? How am I doing this? How the fuck am I so good at bottle flips? See man, I'm, and do you know, the top row is literally the hardest one. I could have literally went for this one, and this one, and that would have been easier to get. And I went for the challenging, most hardest level. The top one, right in the left corner, bingo, twice baby. I got it twice. I'm fucking good at this shit. Fuck man, I'm really good at this. Oh, I can't reach that. That is amazing. Case closed. See that? Pure talent man, I got it twice, I can't believe it. Fuck. Of course they will, it's not fake. I mean, it wasn't that bad. That was a good bottle flip, actually. <laughs> I told you I would land it, I knew I would, because it, it seems difficult, but it's not. Because think about it, all you need to do is just flip it just enough to land on the shelf. It, it's easy, and don't forget, the wall is using a support. So it's not like, normally when you flip a bottle, you flip it on a bench, and that is more difficult because you don't have any support to rebound the bottle. When I'm flipping it here, the bottle can bounce off the wall. When it bounces off the wall, it can flip it and land it, so the wall 
is the advantage. It's rebounding, so it's a bit more easier because it flips and it hits and then it rebounds back because the balance of, of the thing just goes like that. Edward Ryan. Edward Ryan. Edward Ryan. I just my pants for you, Edward. <laughs> I'm joking. That is great. That was actually a good bottle flip. Why don't we do more bottle flip challenge? So we completed that challenge. Now, the second bottle flip... Oh, I've got another bottle flip challenge. We're going to do the long shot bottle flip. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Give me one second. How am I going to do this? How am I going to film this? Ah, oh, how the fuck am I going to film this? I'm trying to figure out how am I going to film this. Mmm... Where am I going to put the camera? Fuck sake. Give me one sec. How am I... Alright, uh, hang on. I don't know if that's going to... No, what am I planning to do? No, 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 that's not going to work. That's not going to work. What am I trying to do? How am I going to do this? Oh, I know. Mm. I don't know what I'm trying to do, honestly. No, no, no. What the fuck am I trying to do? How am I going to put... I'm trying to think where to put the camera. I've got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it might. Hang on. Come on, stay. Beautiful. Um, alright. That's perfect. Alright. So I'm gonna stand about... I'm gonna stand behind the camera so you won't see my face but you see the bottle. I'm gonna try to bottle flip and land it there. Let's see how well we do. I might fail the first couple of times. Yeah, that was a fail. Let's see how long it takes me to actually flip it. That, that was too much of a flip. You need to balance it. And the way you balance it is, when it lands in that angle, when it goes in this angle, you want to just flip it in that position so then it falls straight. Don't flip it too much. you got to get the angle right. See, that was too much. Because I went like that instead of like that. Might take a few tries. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I actually did get it. I actually got it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me try to zoom in with the camera. Can you guys even see? Yeah, I got it. Look. I landed it. <laughs> I landed it. Oh, dude. I told you, it's not that difficult, it's pretty easy actually. Bottle flips are so easy, I don't know why people say it's a talent, it's not a talent or skill. A fucking retard can do it. Come on man. It's so fucking easy. Can't make it seem like it's a very difficult thing to do. I can't believe I made that from long distance. That was great. See, because I, I did the angle right, the angle is literally there, that's the angle. And then when it lands like that, it just drops straight on its base. That's the angle. I don't know what angles that is. That like, I have no idea. It's fucking good angles, eh? It's great. Oh, I got it again! I landed it again! I landed it again. Oh my god, I landed the bottle again. Twice, like I did at the top. I landed it again. Ha <laughs> ha! See? It's very easy, dude. Bottom flips are so easy. It's not difficult. Yeah.
trust me, dude. If a retard like fucking me can do it, anyone can do it. That anything special, bottle flipping, fucking cunts do a new trend. Why is this idiot so addicted to to watch? No, and guess it's only for me. Bro, can I have a shout out? No one says that. He called himself a retard. I feel bad. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Shh. Not now. I can't put the dress again. I just put my shorts on. You naughty little kinky man. I'm going to spank you. I'm going to put you in a dress. Yeah. Cute little boy. Love you. Mm. But yeah, I mean, bottle flips are easy. <laughs> They're not difficult. I've done incredible bottle flip shots. I'm talking about literally all the way from the end of that window, all the way to this bench. And I've made it. I'm not even kidding. I've done that before. Bottle flips are easy, man. You just got to get the angle right. That's all it is. Once you have the angle, bang, it lands on its base. It ain't difficult. It's pretty good. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Phone call came through, and I had to end the phone call. Fuck them cunts. I don't give a shit. Someone's calling me on my mobile phone, on my number. Fucking cunts. Don't people fucking sleep. They have to call you on your fucking number at this late at night. Fucking damn it, cunts. What else can I do to entertain you cunts? I've got an idea. Give me a second, I'm gonna... Don't make noise. You don't want to be bad to hear. Fuck sakes. Fuck this shit. Give me a second. Give me a record. Uh, hang on. Um, give me one sec. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna hold this and show you that I'm punching it. Hang on. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna punch it. Alright. There we go. Imagine if that was someone's insides, that would kill. Ah, oh, I 
that hit my head. Ow. My all-in-one PC box is getting destroyed. Let's fucking go. I don't need this box anymore. HP. Let's fucking go. Take this motherfucking shit out. Oh. Let's try to do this. Alright, hang on. Oh, my knuckles are red. Ow! Dude, I need gloves. Do I have gloves? Wait, I think I have one glove somewhere. Yeah, I have one glove. I literally, I can't find where I put the other glove. I have one glove on. I can't seem to find the other one, but that should do. Fucking little shit cunts. Clean this mess up before Mama T comes home. Gotta push this mess away. Because Mama T's gonna come home soon. Fuck. 
Um, Baking. Panong is a plain Panong. I need to take this sticky off. There we go. So spider hair style artwork. I love spider hair style. Big fan of it. It's applied on the old school PS2 with the memory card. It used to be six times forever. Oh, Viber. Got a message on Viber. No, 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 no. No. Oh, stop calling me. They're always calling me. I don't like it. I tell them to stop calling me. Stupid. When I go live on Facebook, don't fucking call me. Not in a fucking mood, mate. Man, I'm fucking mad, mate! Fuck these cunts up in a minute. They call one more time, I'll fuck them up. I'm gonna jerk your little cock in a minute, I swear to fucking god. They grab me cock and I'm gonna jerk it. I swear to fucking god, these cunts are pissing me off. I'm gonna jerk my willy willy in a minute, fucking willy willy in a minute, fuck these cunts. <coughs> when daddy sucks on your dick. I deal with this. Hang on. I've got an idea. Don't know if it will work. Daddy's tied up. Daddy can't get out. Mm, you like when Daddy plays with his kinky little toys? This is Daddy's kinky toy. Mm. Oh. oh shit, I tied on them. Fuck my circulation. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Fuck, that wasn't a good idea. Fucking retard I am. I try to make my own homemade sex toys mm. and I almost cut me circulation. Fuck me. <laughs> little cunts. Little cunts, little cunts. I'll fuck your mother's cunt. <laughs>
Let's go on my computer now. I'm gonna go on my computer. Gotta turn it on. There we go. Let me cover my. I don't want to show my my login screen. Shay, I gotta enter the password to log into my computer. So I'm gonna enter my password, and we're gonna do things on the computer now. Hmm. Let me enter my password. There we go. <coughs> We're in my computer. Hmm, what should I do? Hmm. Let me change the camera so we can face the computer. How am I going to do that? Hmm. I've got an idea. It might actually work. Maybe it's not going to work. But let me just try. Um. Hang on a minute. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Um. How can I make it stand? Hmm, this is going to be tricky. Oh, I got an idea. Yeah, hang on. I got a wonderful idea. I don't, no, I don't think you guys can see that. Nah, it's not going to work. Oh, and the cardboard box. Yeah, hang on. But how am I going to do it? Hmm, oh, I can put this on the back. Would that work? No, you guys still can't see the computer. Nah. Oh, you can kind of see it. I guess. Hmm. Alright, I think that's the best I can get it. But now, I've got to figure out how am I going to move the mouse. It's not the straight. It's not really straight. But it's the best I can get it, I think. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> 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 Can you guys actually see that? Oh, fuck. There was a way I could fucking make it better. Oh, that's better. But I think that's better. But the box is crooked. Hang on, let me switch the box. I might be able to fix it. Give me one sec. I think I know how to do it. But it's this thing. Yeah, I think I can do it now, guys. Perfect. It's just a little bit crooked on the angle, but I mean, maybe if I put it there. That's perfect. I hope you guys can actually see that. Let me bring the chair closer a bit. Maybe that might make it better. Yeah, I think that's about as good as it gets. Hmm. I don't think you guys can actually see that. You guys can't even see that. Let me try to zoom in. For oh, fuck's sakes. How long? No, it keeps falling. Doesn't want to stay. 
Come on, stay. Don't fall. Ah, it doesn't want to stay. Stay. No, it's not staying. Well, that's the best I can get it. No, why is it falling? It won't fucking stay. That's better. See, that's how I hack people's Facebooks. It's a phishing link. That's why you never click on links. Because then it will send me your password once you log in. And it redirects to this video. Like my music video. <laughs> oh man, I know how funny can't. This is the Amigo, brother. If you haven't been on the Amigo, you have to get on it. It's crazy. Check this one out. This one's great. Alright. Maybe not the fun video. That's my YouTube channel, guys, and that is me dancing while she's got her bra out. Yeah. 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 
That's me, that's actually me in that video. I'm a fucking porn star, brother. It's officially on YouTube and it's got over 25,000 views. And if you don't believe me, I'll show it to you, I'll prove it to you. You don't fucking believe me. Yeah, I'll prove it to you. There you go. Oh, it's got more. 31,972 views. That's how much my video got. It's viral. My video has gone viral. There you go. And that is me. Isn't that amazing? I've gone viral on YouTube in my jocks. Fucking legend, mate. Fuck. <sighs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I've gone famous. Can't dance for shit, but look how many views I have on my video. 31,972 views and I can't dance for shit. Well, everyone seems to like me, so shut the fuck up. I'm pretty viral on YouTube, mate. The fuck you're gonna do? Yeah, I'm a legend, brother. I'm famous on YouTube. I've been famous for years, brother, but people don't know that I've got a YouTube channel. I don't really tell people that. Yeah, I'm really big on... I've, I've got one video that's got 37,000 views, even more than this one. It's almost got 40,000 views. Pretty famous, bro. People love Umeagle videos. People love when I go on Umeagle. They just love it. For some reason, it gets a lot of hits. I don't know why, it just does. Yeah. A YouTube channel. Hang on. A YouTube channel is this. That's my YouTube channel. At a W O W C H A T. It's my YouTube channel, brother. pretty surprised myself I got pretty viral I didn't think I'll get that many views fucking oaths and look at the comments brother yeah I get comments on my vids too pretty fucking sick yeah mm, famous look at my Uranus Yeah, I'm so proud that I'm famous. I will show you my other video, how many views that has. Alright, that's my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's my... I got 286 subscribers. I don't have that many subscribers, but I do have a lot of views on one of my videos, if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Hang on. It's somewhere here. Oh, there it is. This is the one. There we go. This one's got more views. 38,140. That's got more views. There you go. <sighs> That's the comments on my video. Oh, 
Oh, I did this one. The last couple of years, um, but I'm back. I'm back to another wildcat video. So I hope you guys do put on the music. <laughs> Alright, let me explain what that is. That right there is Ziz muzzing on him eagle. I pretended to be Ziz. You know Ziz, the bodybuilder? Z-Y-Z-Z, -Z -Z, the guy that goes on him eagle and muzzes to techno music. Well, my inspiration is Ziz. And this video is dedicated to Ziz. I'm acting like Ziz in this video on him eagle, muzzing while chicks are watching me. I'm a fucking sick cunt. I'm a shredded lad. This is fucking Ziz. Let's go. <laughs> Sick cunts forever, bros. Fucking the legacy continues. Oh, I fucking love this, brother. This is where the full send part comes in, brother. There we go, sick cunts coming. What chili burgers?
Oh, I'll make that instead. Did you put it in the sandwich this time? Or do you want instant mash? What do you want? I'll um, do it in the instant mash. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did enjoy that muzzing video on WowChat, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Tell me what you thought about this video. Don't forget to share this video to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you guys. Peace. And there we go. Famous again. All my videos have got thousands of hits. Because Ziz is my inspiration. If you don't know who Ziz is, I'll quickly Google him. You have to look at the cunt. He's fucking sick. I love the guy. I wish he never died. Yeah, I'll show you who Ziz is. That guy. That guy right there. That's who I want to be. On him eagle. Muzzing to techno music to girls. That's him. He's my inspiration. This guy is my inspiration. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. That's him, brother. Ziz Subversion. He is my inspiration. He's the reason why I made my YouTube channel. He's the reason why I upload videos on my YouTube channel muzzing to techno music. He is the only reason my YouTube channel was ever created. That is the reason I created my YouTube channel. That's the reason I started making videos of me going on Omegle, muzzing to techno music, because Aziz Subversion used to do that on Omegle before he died. And he inspired me to do that, and he got me thousands of views. His inspiration got me 38,000 hits. This is what I mean. When you get inspired by someone, you can get so famous. Trust me, he's a legend. Fucking love you, Ziz. Always in the heart, brother. You're my inspiration, bro. Thanks to you, brother. I got 38k on my vid. What a legend. Oh, aren't we gonna all miss Ziz? So sad he died so early. It's so sad, brother. You were a sick cunt. And you know what? We're all fucking miring, bruh. And I'm continuing the legacy. Ziz Subversion is now dead. But me, I'm here. And I'm going to continue the legacy. I'm going to muzz on him eagle. And I'm going to bring back the legacy. The Ziz legacy is fucking coming back, you fucking sick cunts. I'm going to post another video on my YouTube channel fucking muzzing. Fucking sick cunts, bruh. Get fucking shredded. Go to the gym. Muzz the techno music and pick up chicks, bruh. That's a fucking Ziz lifestyle, bro. Fuck yeah, you fucking miring, bruh? You fucking sick cunt, bruh? You wanna fucking go, cunt? Fuck yeah, brother. That's what we fucking do in this world. We fucking miring, bruh. You wanna be a sick cunt like Ziz, bruh? You wanna be a fucking sick cunt, bruh? Then get fucking shredded, bruh. That's the fucking motivation, brother. You wanna be a sick cunt like Ziz, or you wanna be a little sad cunt? Like those little fucking sad cunts out there. Don't let those little sad cunts fucking run over you, cunt. You be a fucking sick cunt like Ziz, you'll get all the chicks. I'm fucking miring, bruh. That's the lifestyle, brother. You live like this guy, you'll get all the chicks. I'm telling you. Look at me, I got 38k. Because of his inspiration. His inspiration got me famous. Ah, what a wonderful thing. <laughs> Oh, dude, the Ziz lifestyle. It's just amazing. <sighs> I wish Ziz never died. I feel like crying, dude. Thanks to Ziz, I'm here where I am today. I'm an idiot, shut the fuck up, cunt. I've got 38k views, you got zero views because no one likes you. No one likes to watch you, mate, but everyone loves to watch me. Because I'm a sick cunt, I'm fucking Ziz, bruh. Who the fuck are you?
You're nobody, mate. If you were somebody, I'm pretty sure you would have more views than me, or at least have the same amount as me. No one fucking likes you. Everyone likes me. I've got 38k on my YouTube vid, mate. Yeah, everyone fucking likes me. No one fucking likes you. Show me how many views you have. I bet you got none. This is Brazilian. I don't even have on. <coughs> what a sick cunt. What an actual legend. What a legend. He made me famous on YouTube. Yeah. This is my inspiration. Oh, so itchy on the face, Jesus Christ. Inspiration. That's where the inspiration gets, bro. Uh, it's pretty sad. <coughs> it's pretty sad that he died. But you know what? I'm continuing the legacy. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue the legacy. I'm never going to stop to continue the legacy. I'm always going to continue the legacy because Ziz is just a sick cunt. I mean, there's no one like Ziz. A well-known Sydney bodybuilder has died after collapsing in a sauna in Thailand. Doctors say the 23-year-old had an undiagnosed heart condition, but some say a growing obsession with body image is dangerous. His training partner and brother pleaded guilty to possession of an anabolic steroid. Fucking legacy, brother. That's what I'm fucking talking about, bro. I can't watch that. That is so fucking depressing because I love Ziz. I'm going to cry. I can't watch this video, dude. I'm, if I continue to watch this video, I'm just going to start crying about the cunt. <sighs> Why did he have to die? You don't know how sad I was when I found out he died. He He's like my brother. Like He's my inspiration. I'm here today because of him. I wish you never died, man. Oh, I'm trying not to cry, but it's so difficult.
Just so sad. Why did he have to fucking die, man? Why couldn't Justin Bieber have died? Why fucking Ziz, bro? Ziz is a sick cunt. Justin Bieber's a fucking gay cunt. Fuck. Oh, Ziz, man. Ziz is just... Oh, you don't understand how much I love Ziz as a brother. Oh, Ziz was my inspiration, brother. I used to watch him back in 2015. That was like three, four years after he died. That's when I found out about him. 2015. That's when I started my YouTube channel. I used to watch his videos. And when I watched his videos... I don't know, it just gave me some kind of motivation, and I said to myself, I'm gonna be like this guy. If he can muzz on him eagle to techno music, then why can't I? So I did exactly what he did. I went on him eagle, I chucked on some techno music, and I started muzzing, like a sick cunt. Posted it on YouTube, in like one week I got a thousand views, the second week two thousand views, the third week three thousand views, the fourth week five thousand views. And so on and so forth. And now I've got over 38,000 views. That's because the motivation of Ziz got me where I was today. He motivated me. The motivation. And I feel so sad when I watch Ziz's videos and his motivational quote videos. Because he's not here. He's not here to spend the time with us. He's not here to enjoy the techno music we have today. You know, I just feel so sad that he's gone. And that he's not here with us to listen to the music that we listen to today. If Ziz was alive today, man, fuck, he would rock the fucking techno. He would go to techno festivals and he would be a sick cunt. But he's fucking dead, man, and it's so fucking sad. <coughs> it's just so sad. I just literally cry. Every day I cry for him. I literally sit in front of my computer, watch his motivational videos and just start crying. Honestly, he's my inspiration. He honestly is my fucking inspiration, man. Why did God have to take him for? It's not fair. It's not fair, man. I loved him, man. He was my inspiration. <laughs> I want him to come back, man. I want him to come back so badly, dude. I just want him to come back, man, but it's not going to happen, man. <sighs> but you know what, man? Look on the bright side. Sis might not be here, but I'm here, and I'm continuing the legacy, and that's all that matters. I'm continuing the legacy for Ziz. I'm doing my YouTube video for fucking Ziz. I muzz on, on him eagle with techno music for fucking Ziz, bruh. The legacy continues. It's never gonna fucking die. The legacy will never die. I don't care if Ziz is dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. And that's all that matters. And I'm here. And I'm gonna continue the legacy. That's what we fucking do. We continue the motherfucking legacy that Ziz started. And I'm continuing it. Ziz started the legacy, I'm now continuing the legacy. It's just so sad that he's dead. You know, every day I cry. It is, it's literally sad because Ziz was my inspiration. Ziz was my inspiration. And I just can't believe he's dead. At age 20, I think it was 22 or 23, he died. So sad. You know what some people say? Some people say Ziz is actually alive. That Ziz never died. Some people say Ziz faked his death. Now, do I believe that Ziz faked his death? Uh, look, man, it, I would love to believe that. You know, and I want to believe that. Because I, because I love Ziz so much, I'm going to believe that. You know. But, this is, this, this is a thing, though. 
when Ziz died, they buried his, um, well, they put him in a tomb, and they buried his tombstone in Sydney, because Ziz, all his life, lived in New South Wales, Sydney, which is in Australia, and they buried him in a grave site in Sydney. Now, this is the funny thing. A random guy off the internet decided to go visit Ziz's grave at his grave site to put flowers on his grave, and he recorded it. <coughs> now, he went to the grave site where Ziz's tombstone was to put flowers on his grave as respect, right? And he recorded it on his phone. When he goes to the grave site, he's looking for the grave and he can't find the grave. He's like, where the hell is Ziz's tombstone? Ziz's tombstone is not even here. And he's like, what the fuck? It looks like Ziz's gravestone has been permanently removed out of the grave site. And I'm saying to myself, why would you remove Ziz's grave out of the grave site? I'm like, why would you remove the grave site, like the tombstone of Ziz? So the guy literally went to the grave site where Ziz's tomb was buried. And he's looking for the tomb and he can't find it. So someone had removed Ziz's grave out of the ground. And why would they have done that if he was actually dead? Not only that, they said when Ziz died, there was no death certificate. Now listen to this. Every time a person dies, the coroner examines the body. Once the coroner examines the body and pronounces the person dead, they write a death certificate. It's a certificate that says that the person is dead. To physically prove that the person's dead. It's basically an authenticity to say when the person's dead, right? But when Ziz died, he had no death certificate. When, when Ziz died, when he apparently died, there was no death certificate. Now, if Ziz actually died, there would have been a death certificate, number one. Number two, his gravestone would not have been removed out of the ground. Which is a very weird, strange thing. So possibly he faked his death. I do believe Ziz is alive. I do believe that. I honestly do believe Ziz is not dead. And not only that. The, so basically that news video that I just showed you before. Of the woman on channel 10. Talking about his death. Um, in the video, you can hear her say, um, Ziz went to a trip in Thailand and collapsed in a sauna. So the news people said that he went to Thailand and he collapsed in a sauna. That's what the news said, right? But that is false. Because Ziz's brother, Chespra, now Chespra is Ziz's brother. That's the brother of Ziz. He said that Ziz did not collapse in a sauna in Thailand. Which means the news faked it. The news faked the whole thing and said that he collapsed in a sauna when he didn't. And his brother confirmed it. His brother said what really happened was he went to a massage parlour and he was waiting in the waiting room of the massage parlour to get seen when he walks up to the front counter and says, I feel chest pains around my heart. And then not long after, he lied down on the couch and he died in his sleep. So we've got two stories. We're hearing from Channel 10 News that he collapsed in a sauna. Then from his brother, we're hearing that he didn't collapse in a sauna. There was no death certificate. His tombstone has been removed out of the ground. So he could possibly be alive. I honestly do not think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. Honestly, don't. Ziz, my man, you're fucking alive, brother. I can feel it. I know he's alive. Maybe it's because I love the guy so much and I'm just taking all this like it's... I don't know. But honestly, I do believe he's alive. And not only that, <coughs> people said that Ziz never went to Thailand. Ziz never travelled to Thailand. People said Ziz actually went to Miami. 
he never went to Thailand because on his Facebook page there was no pictures of him in Thailand. There was literally like I think two or three pictures of him in Thailand. And they said the lack of photos that he posted in Thailand proved that he wasn't actually in Thailand. He actually went to Miami. Not only that, they said that his brother... Okay, so Chespra is Ziz's brother, right? Now, Chespra was dating this chick. And they broke up for whatever reason, and they were no longer dating. Now, there was a Facebook message between Chespra's ex-girlfriend, which is Ziz's brother. There was a message between Chespra's ex-girlfriend and a random guy off Facebook. Now, the conversation said... That Ziz is alive and Ziz is with me in a nightclub in Miami and I'm looking after him. So Chesbra's ex-girlfriend apparently said that Ziz is alive and well and she's looking after him in a nightclub that she's promoting in Miami. So Ziz's girlfriend owns this nightclub. No, I mean Chesbra's girlfriend, sorry. So Chesbra is Ziz's girlfriend. Now Chesbra's girlfriend... Chespra's ex-girlfriend owns a nightclub in Miami, in the United States. Now, that nightclub she owns, she was promoting at the time. Now, she claims that Ziz is alive, living with her in the nightclub in Miami. And they said that the lack of photos in Thailand meant that Ziz never went to Thailand. He went to Miami. So, they're saying Ziz is alive in America. He's alive in Miami. Now, I don't know if I'm going to believe that. Is Ziz alive in Miami? I don't know. People are saying he's alive in Miami. He possibly is. And a lot of people have seen Ziz in Miami. A lot of people have actually spotted Ziz in Miami. Um, not only that, um, there's a video on YouTube that was posted in 2012. Now, remember... Ziz died in 2011. This video was posted in 2012. Now, the video that was posted in 2012 is a techno festival that took place in Melbourne, Victoria. Now, mind you, check it out. Alright. Now, mind you, Ziz died in 2012 lived his whole life in Sydney, Australia, right? He was born in Sydney, he lived in Sydney. Now, this video that was posted in YouTube in 2012 was a video of a techno festival that took place in Melbourne. Now, everyone in the background of the video is dancing to the music at the festival, and a camera guy was recording in the audience. And if you zoom closely into the audience, you can actually see Ziz dancing one year after he died. Does that make sense? Okay, so Ziz died in 2011. And there's a techno festival that took place in Melbourne in 2012, which was one year after Ziz died. And in the audience, you can actually see Ziz muzzing to techno, which proves that Ziz never died. He faked his freaking death. If you zoom closely in the video, you can actually see it's Ziz. So, I mean, I don't think he's dead. I think, the, he, I think he faked his death because he was too famous and he couldn't take the fame anymore. That's what it is. Which makes a lot of sense. So, do I believe that Ziz is alive? Yes, I do. I don't believe he's dead. There's just no way. You know, the video was posted in 2012. So, Ziz died in 2011. A video was posted on YouTube one year after he died, in 2012. And the video was of a techno festival that took place in Melbourne. Now remember, Ziz lived his whole life in Sydney, not Melbourne. So why would Ziz come to Melbourne for this techno festival one year after he apparently died? Does that make sense? And in the background of the video, 
in the crowd where you see everyone dancing, if you zoom closely in, you can see this. You can clearly see, see his face and he's literally muzzing to techno. One year after he died. He died in 2011. This techno festival took place in Melbourne 2012. One year after he died. And you can see him in the crowd. So I honestly do not think that he is dead. I honestly do believe he's alive. So yeah, I do believe that Ziz is alive, well, and healthy. I don't believe he's dead. Nah, he's alive. And um, they said that Ziz is going to come back. He's going to reveal himself for a big event. There's a big techno festival event that is going to take place. Now, they didn't say the exact date and the exact year when this techno festival is going to take place. But they said when this festival takes place, you're going to see Ziz. Ziz is going to reveal himself and tell everyone that he was alive. And everyone's going to freak out. So I'm waiting for Ziz to come back. The sick cunt's going to come back. Fucking Maslad, bruh. Bum, 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 bum. Sick cunt. Fucking Ziz, bruh. Fuck yeah. I can't wait for him to come back. He's going to come back for a big event. It might be 2020. When 2019 this year, next year, he might come back for 2020, 2021. Ziz returns. 2020, 2021. <laughs> You never know. Ziz might come back. We just gotta hope that he's alive. Because I'm gonna be so sad if he actually is dead. If he's actually dead, dude, that is the most saddest thing ever. I hope he's not. I hope he's alive. I'm just gonna cry. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this live video it is 2 47 a.m and i need to go eat my food because my mum made me food and i'm gonna go now otherwise my food's gonna get cold all right guys see you later see you later um jerk your dad's dick and fuck your mum's pussy and see you later guys fucking asshole bye bye retard <laughs>